Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to generate extra revenue by adding shipping protection to your Shopify store. This is really powerful, and this is all about boosting revenue and boosting sales by offering your customers shipment protection. This is how you do it the right way. And shipping protection has become a true no-brainer for Shopify stores. There's really no doubt about it. It helps the store owner, it helps the consumer. It's really a win-win. And really when you don't have a good process for shipping protection, you know, you could have a variety of negative effects, chargebacks, reshipments that you have to pay for yourself, negative reviews that could hurt your brand long-term. There's no doubt about it. You want to offer shipping protection to help preserve your brand, to make your customers happy, but really most of all, to make more money. And a popular strategy right now is to add shipment protection to increase customer trust and conversion rate, but also at the same time, add a new profitable revenue stream by when people sign up for the shipping protection, you get to collect that revenue. And it's really popular right now. It's really powerful because it simply increases sales and it increases revenue at the same time. And there are some pain points that you might run into if you want to go ahead and implement this. First of all, there's no built-in way to do this with Shopify. You're going to need to use an app. I'm going to show you the app that I use. It's super easy to use. It doesn't require any prior technological skills. You don't need to be a programmer or developer or some type of expert in terms of shipping to implement this. And instead of using an expensive shipping insurance program, right, those have become very popular. I'm going to show you how you could basically run your own program, keep all of the profit, and just manage it yourself right inside of Shopify. And if you want to do that, you're going to use Navidium. Very, very powerful. You see the link to Navidium directly below this video. I highly recommend it. I use it in my stores. We're going to go over the shoulder. I'm going to show you exactly how to set this up. But first, I'm going to show you the Navidium shipping protection app inside of the Shopify app store. First thing to pay attention to, 4.9 out of 5 star review on over 315 reviews. There's no doubt about it. <clears throat> Navidium shipping protection is incredibly powerful and it's really does exactly what I was describing. It helps boost sales, it helps boost conversion rate, and it increases revenue by creating this new profit stream by allowing you to literally sell your own shipping protection. It works on all cart types, seamless integration. You're going to see just how easy it is to get this in here. We're going to be able to add a fully branded widget into our store. You'll be able to set everything, pricing tiers, percentage of cart value, the text, the images, really everything in here. The whole display and setup is fully customizable. And the idea here is that we're going to offer shipping protection, but we're not going to use any type of third party. We're just going to run it ourselves, which means whatever we charge for shipping protection will just be simply added profit, right? So if we're charging $8.99 for shipping protection, that $8.99 fully sent over to us. We're not splitting that with anyone. We now get that in an additional revenue stream. Really easy, smooth experience, you know, hidden products, opt-in, opt-out, right? It's got all the features that you would expect from shipping protection. The main difference here is that you keep all of the money, all of the money that the consumer or the customer adds for shipping protection, that's going to you, your bottom line. Really powerful, you also get the claims platform. Again, it's got every feature that all of the leading shipping protection companies use, but instead of splitting the shipping protection fee or giving them a fee, you're gonna be able to keep it all yourself with Navidium shipping protection, really powerful. You see the link directly below this video. Make sure you go ahead and get this in here. Free plan available, there's a free trial available as well. It's a fully self-service platform. It's gonna give you all the tools to create and run a self-funded shipping protection plan, and you keep 100% of what is collected. So highly recommend it. All you need to do, you press the install button over here. Again, the link directly below this video. Press the install button. We're gonna go over the shoulder. I'm going to show you just how easy this is to set up and I'm going to show you it live inside of my store. Once you have the app installed in your store, you'll be able to open up into your account. Simply log in to your Nvidia account and you'll be brought into your dashboard. And right on the dashboard, this is going to be where you see your latest performance and revenue collected, claims cost. You could take a look at new claims over here and you'll start to see the orders that come in and the protected orders, right? So once you install this, you'll probably see zeros across the board. If you install this, once you get an order and had an order just actually come in and uh, you'll start to see those that take the protection and those that don't. So you'll see everything inside of here. We'll wanna set things up first. 
and uh, we're going to come over here into installation. And when we come over here, you could request the onboarding over here, but it's really, really easy to get started. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. You just click auto installation. Basically, what we need to do is go into our theme, right? And you could watch the video, but I'm going to show you exactly what to do. Back in your Shopify store, we go to the theme editor and the app section. So we'll come over here and I'll go to online store and then we'll go to themes. It's going to load up automatically. And then you want to customize your existing theme. And uh, we come over here to the app embed section. And you're going to see you might have different apps that are on. You see Navidia over here. We're going to toggle this. This is on right here is off. Turning it on and we're going to save. Okay, very, very easy. That's literally all that you need to do in terms of self installation. Really, really easy to do that. All right, so we have that set up over here. And installation is, of course, a one time thing. So we'll come over here, we'll start to see orders in over here. And again, some orders came in since I installed this. And you'll be able to uh, check your claims if there are any. And uh, you'll see literally all of your claims over here. Really easy. Again, this is self managed. So you'll be able to do everything right inside of this setup. We're going to come over here into settings and go to widget. This is going to be basically what people see. And we could either customize an existing template or we can choose a new template. I'm going to go over here. There's a lot of existing uh, kind of look and feel that we already can just leverage here and use. You see icons and text and all that stuff. We'll be able to uh, make edits to that over here if we want. And uh, we can come over here, see other templates. We can customize different product settings as well in terms of what we're putting here. And maybe we want to just call this our own. Put my store name. Shipping protection. And uh, we just put this in here. A little bit more branding, a little bit more trust. You know, and uh, we could say get peace of mind with the shipping protection program. Okay, we're going to use that icon. See additional settings as well. Um, in terms of people automatically opting in or not, that's up to you in terms of showing that or uh, choosing that. We're going to leave it on as off for now. And then again, with the template, just customizing whatever we want here in terms of images and in terms of text. Come over here, birds in the air, damage, loss, theft, right? We see exactly what it's showing over here. And we'll be able to customize the pricing, of course, as well in terms of the fees. We have opt-in messages, opt-out messages over here as well. So we can customize all those or we can just leave those as default, which is what I'm going to do. If we have a learn more link, we could send that over there to like an FAQ page or something like that. We'll uh, remove that for now. We have our pop-up styled. So we have different ways to show it, whether it's a pop-up or the uh, other section. I like this one better. It just kind of fits better. Now what we're going to do is start enabling some of our um, branding here. So we can do all these different things like hiding badges. You see hiding the badge over there. We can change opt-in colors. Let's say, uh, you know, we have a blue brand. So I'm going to go with our blue color scheme. And uh, let's see, what else maybe do we want to change over here? Let's change the slogan. We actually have a blue and red color scheme. So I'm going to come over there, add in a little bit of our colors. Let's see, protection name. I'll also go with our blue here. Okay, looking good. I'm going to save changes. Okay, and pretty simple when it comes to that, right? We have the ability to customize the template here to make it match our look and feel. And of course, that's the whole idea here that we wanted to just kind of fit in exactly as our brand already appears. And of course, very easy to do that, customizing the colors, text, and even the icon if you want. Coming over here, we could add SKU exclusions. Let's say there are some products. Let's say you're doing uh, something like a monthly subscription club. Might not necessarily need to have uh, shipping protection on something if it's digital or virtual access. So you can come over here and exclude specific projects or products, I should say. Pretty cool to do that. Uh, here we have our fees. And this is really kind of a cool thing. You could set up here. And again, you have full control, right? You're running this entire program. <clears throat> you could choose whether you want your shipping protection to be a flat percentage of each sale or to be a static amount. <clears throat> so what does that mean? Let's say you do something like 2.5% of your default protection. So if you have an order of $100, the shipping protection cost will be $2.50. Okay, it's using a percentage of the order. Now, another thing that you could do is just set it to be a static or a flat rate. Regardless, you're going to charge for orders between zero and 100, you could charge 75 cents, right? That's an example. All right, we're going to come over here. I'm going to be doing percentage. Okay, and we'll go with their recommended amount. 
at two dollars and fifty cents. I'm sorry, two dollars, a two point five percent. Right on that example of a hundred dollar order, the fee would be two dollars and fifty cents. It would be much less if it was a smaller order. But you'll see here, we don't want to have things like fifteen cents or something like that. That's not going to be worth our while. So we'll do protection value minimum and maximum. Right, we have seventy five cents as our maximum, going probably seventy four dollars. I couldn't imagine having an order that big where the 74 would be two and a half percent. So you have a big maximum over there and you'll be over here in terms of adjust price with the video rounding up to make sure that it's a uh, kind of a nice even number that is nice to look at. And uh, we have this over here. Also you have max th uh, threshold value. Uh, let's say you had something like a massive high end product thing. You could set a huge amount to be a threshold if you want. Uh, we might want to turn this off for international. It really just depends on how your shipping is. Uh, if you're doing something like print on demand drop shipping, might as well keep it on since you're going to be sending uh, internationally. So really no problem. But you could charge different fees if you want it to go international. Of course, of course, you want to save your progress here. And really what we're doing is just kind of setting this up this one time, setting up our rules and our fees. And, you know, we even have additional settings in terms of default currency and, you know, enabling order fulfillments and all that great stuff. Of course, we have our claim page here where we can customize everything, right? Literally look and feel. You see that they can even require the uh, email and order information in here. So we could have the uh, claims limited to orders only. We see that as a typical option that we'll do here. And uh, we have some other kind of color scheme things. Again, we can customize this and make this match our look and feel. And we simply press save. You see there's gonna be different views as well in terms of different types of uh, kind of issues around it, right? The reasons, right? So this is gonna be the page where they select the reason. And I'll walk you through exactly what the customer sees when we load this up and uh, we'll save changes over here. So all this is pretty much good to go. We have our brand kit over here in terms of our emailing. So we'll wanna make sure that we set up our specific stuff like uh, birds. Oops. So having all that set up and uh, we could upload our logo as well. Now what we have over here a setup ready to go Navidium. And this is going to now present to customers in the store. So let's go over the shoulder on the store side and show you how it looks. So I'm gonna go over here and we'll load up my store. I'll actually open it in a new incognito window so I'm not logged in as the admin. I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to add this product into my cart. And as soon as you see that on the cart page, we have, and of course it's branded to our color scheme, our birdsintheair.com shipping protection. And we have 2.5% of $25, less than 75 cents. So it's making the minimum cost 75 cents here. We're gonna enable this, right? And you see the text changing, right? By deselecting shipping protection, we will not be liable for lost or stolen packages, right? Really strong call to action here. Because when we turn it on, it says get peace of mind with our delivery guarantee. And we have that in here as we check out we're gonna see an additional line item in our cart, the shipping protection. It's got our brand name in it and all that good stuff. So we're gonna collect that 75 cents and it's going to give peace of mind to the customer and it's also gonna significantly increase conversion rate as well. So we see that literally automatically, just shows up right in the cart. All we had to do was just turn it on inside of our theme and then customize the settings. Very powerful. So that was the Novidium shipping protection app. Highly recommended. You see that 4.9 out of five star review, incredibly powerful. And it obviously does a very good job at exactly what I was describing. Increasing your conversion rate, increasing trust, adding a new revenue stream by offering shipping protection on your store. Highly recommended. Again, take a look at the link directly below this video. Get this into your store ASAP. You're going to really love it. It's going to help you increase that conversion rate, build a great brand, and make more money. Again, the link directly below this video. Highly recommended. Hope this helps you make some money, and I'll talk to you real soon.